Education Galaxy presents Represent Area and Volume. Today we're going to explore the area formulas for rectangles, parallelograms, trapezoids, and triangles, and the volume formula for a rectangular prism. These shapes are all around us in the world. Just look. Here we have rectangles and squares that are special rectangles and triangles and trapezoids and even rectangular prisms. To find the area of a rectangle, we multiply its length times its width. So the formula is A equals L times W. Sometimes the length and width are referred to as the base and height, and you'll see the formula written as A equals BH. To better understand the area formulas for a parallelogram, a triangle, and a trapezoid, let's look at how those shapes can be converted to a rectangle and then find the area of that rectangle. A parallelogram can be decomposed and rearranged to form a rectangle. The area of this rectangle is BH. A triangle can be decomposed and rearranged to form a rectangle. The base of this rectangle is 1 half B. That means that the area of this rectangle is 1 half times B times H. A trapezoid can be decomposed and rearranged to form a rectangle. The base of this rectangle is the average of B1 and B2. That means that the area of this rectangle is 1 half parentheses B1 plus B2 close parentheses times H. Let's review these formulas. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. Remember, the height is measured at a 90 degree angle. It is not the length of the slanted side. The area of a triangle is 1 half times base times height. The area of a trapezoid is the average of its base length times its height. That means it's 1 half parentheses base 1 plus base 2 times its height. The area of the base rectangle of a rectangular prism is length times width. That means that the volume of the rectangular prism is its length times width times its height. Sometimes you'll see this formula written as V equals capital BH, and the capital B simply stands for the area of the base. Let's try a practice problem together. Lana has a variety of square tiles that she is using in the bathrooms as she renovates her 1910 home. The table shows the relationship between the side length S in inches of a tile, its perimeter P in inches, and its area A in square inches. Write an equation that represents the relationship between the perimeter and its side and the area and its side. I know that 3 times 4 gives me 12, but does that work for the other numbers? Yes, it does. So our first equation is P equals 4S. Now let's see if we can see a pattern from the side length to the area. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, but 6 times 3 is not 36. It's 6 times 6. That's it. The side length times itself gives me the area. So it's A equals S times S or A equals S to the second power. Let's do another practice problem together. Doreen is going to plant a small garden in her backyard with her kids. She knows that the length of the garden will be 24 feet. If A represents the area of the garden in square feet, write an equation that represents W, the width of the garden in feet. We need to substitute 24 in place of the length and then divide both sides by 24 to solve for W. So our answer is W equals A divided by 24. Let's do another practice problem together. The Aqua Arena Aquarium plans to install a new aquarium that has a base shaped like a triangle shown in the diagram. If A is the area of the triangular base, write an equation that can be used to find H, the height of the triangular base. First, we need to substitute 16 in for the base then simplify by multiplying 1 half by 16. That gives us 8. Next, we need to divide both sides by 8, and we get that h equals the area divided by 8. Let's try another problem together. K has a doormat shaped like a trapezoid. The dimensions are shown in the diagram. Write an equation that can be used to find a, the area of the doormat, in square feet. Remember, the bases are the two sides of the trapezoid that are parallel to each other. Also remember that the height is measured at a 90 degree angle. All that we need to do is substitute in the values. So we have A equals 1 half times a sum of 1.6 plus 3.7 times X. Let's do a volume problem together. Then you'll be ready to try some problems on your own. Brent is designing a block of modeling clay that will be shaped like a rectangular prism for his company to sell, shown in the diagram. 
If V is the desired volume of the block of modeling clay, write an equation that represents H, the height of the rectangular prism of modeling clay. First, we'll substitute in our numbers for length and width. Then we'll divide both sides of the equation by the product of these two numbers to get H. H equals volume divided by the product of 7.25 and 5.6. Now you're equipped to find the area and the volume of the shapes that are all around you.